Hi folks, good morning, happy Wednesday, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, uh, this is a great time to be here because I'm traveling, I'm in the Holy Land, and we are doing all sorts of fun things, from hauling, to project sharing, to showing you the site. So it's, I hope you feel comfortable, and uh, yeah, it's always a fun ride around here with amazing people, that's for sure. So folks, I was thinking a lot this morning about gratitude, and thinking a lot about that amazing box that Lily made for me that I still cannot believe is for me and how much work that lady put into that box. If you haven't checked it out, please go and take a look at the boxing up that Lily did of the Happy Mail surprise box she made for me. And you are going to be wowed by this lady's talent. I mean, she is definitely one of the best clean creators we have. And oh my goodness, the stuff in there. And did you see the new flowers? The new flowers. Okay, so there's this Instagram craze. I'm never on Instagram. I forget to go on there. We know that it's a terrible flaw. I'm sorry, Brandy. I'm sorry. Brandy, who entered my challenge, is an Instagram person. And she's not a YouTube person. And I feel terrible because I'm just bad at Instagram. Anyway, if you go on there, you'll see right now there's like this epic flower craze going on. Well, of course, Lily not only does it, but she does it in her own way with Maggie Holmes. And she made these stunning flowers. She even altered the file. She mixed up the file. See, this girl is not afraid to go and like mix everything up. And I love this about her because her projects don't look the same. You know, like sometimes I look at things and I'm like, ah, oh, it looks like another 20 projects I've seen. Lily's never looks like that. It's always interesting, interesting, interesting because she alters everything. So folks, you've got to go check this out. Just check out Lily's Instagram too, right? It's Crafting with Lily on Instagram also. Oh my goodness, what is she's up to is just insane. So yes, yeah, she included some of those flowers and I was thinking about gratitude. How lucky am I? Not only have I learned how to make from Lily, I'm going to actually have this stuff to decorate my craft space, my new craft space, and to study it. Because folks, you know I'm a watcher and I'm like, wait, wait, how did she do that? So, you know, on this trip, my husband was very generous. He does not get this thing that I do, but he's very generous and he gifted me a cuddle bug. And he actually thought about it, turns out, getting me a cricket for here. Um, because you, I don't know if you guys know this, but you can use a cricket in many different countries. It's built, the electricity is built in such a way that it works with many different power sources. And that's pretty impressive. But I'm glad he didn't because folks, learning how to use the cricket is a several month process. Joanne, the Happy Mail Stamper showed us that. You have to learn how to manipulate the SVGs. So, you know, initially, <laughs> a little naively, I thought, oh, the SVGs must be so much more simple but they're not. It's a lot of manipulation and it's a lot of learning. And I didn't want to spend my time here just learning and not making. So I'm so glad he got me the cuddle bug for travel. That said, um, you know, I, I have what I have, meaning die cutting wise because of Lily. She inspired me to invest and to change the way I think about making. And now I can make all sorts of crazy things as you see, and it's so much fun. And I'm so grateful to her for that. But I was thinking about like Martha Stewart too today and why like I never warmed to her, which is weird, right? I love design. I love good design. I really do. Like I teach at a, an art school, folks. Like I'm, I'm schooled in design. I love design. It's important to me. And so you'd think I would love Martha Stewart, right? Nope. Just never warmed to her. Didn't warm to her shows. Didn't warm to her magazine. Didn't, I just didn't warm to this lady. And I was like, what is it about her that you just didn't warm to? And I don't know if it's that there was, she always put a distance between herself and her viewer, or if it's that it doesn't seem genuine. Recently, I heard her say something about staying up all night and making and how she couldn't help herself. That was like the first time I've heard her talk genuinely about making. But, you know, why not give Scrap Diva 29 Erica a, a show? Or give Lily a show? I mean, these women are the people of our generation. And they are, like, serious makers. Okay, they're people that can make really complicated projects from SVGs to a simple tag, right? And what I like about both of those ladies is that they both make tags, but they also make like really complicated SVG files. Now, we all know my aesthetic is grungy, messy, whatever, because I can't do clean, but I love Lily's kind of clean. If you're a precision creator, you love Erica Scrap Diva 29. So like Carmen loves Erica, right? She loves Lily too. But she is like over head over heels for Scrap Diva because she's such a precise creator. And I'm the flip. I love Lily because Lily is honest and genuine and an expert maker. And she's precise and clean, but she's not so uber clean that I feel it's unattainable. So I'll watch Erica's videos and I like her, but Lily's my kind of woman. So networks, if you're looking for people who represent our generation of making, 
it's not Martha Stewart. It's really not. You know, I mean, no offense, it's just that's not who it is. You know, we'd much rather see a Lily or an Erica. We'd much rather, or better yet, pair them together and watch what happens. Then you'll have thousands of people watching your show and buying your products. And if they're designing the products, oh, then we'll all be buying them. So you see, like, there's the lesson, folks. Um, you know, I wish I had more followers so that certain people would watch these videos, the ones that make these decisions. But, folks, I just don't. I, I'm not here to build a network. You know, there are people here that want to build a channel and it's important to them. And that's because they're fostering community, right? I said last night, Lily's gift to us is every video she posts. And it's a gift because she doesn't have time for this. Her detailed project shares, her tutorials, those are gifts to us, right? So that's what she's doing this for. Me, I'm here and I'm having a joyful, collaborative experience. I'm not here to build a channel. I'm not here to promote myself. I'm not here to get on a design team. I have no interest in any of that. I'm here to engage as I have with each and every one of you to, if it's fun for you, then I'll host a challenge. If it's not, I won't. Uh, you know, I'm learning more from you guys, actually, and I say this all the time, than I could ever teach anybody. So uh, I'm here to, for a joyous collaboration, and it has been joyous, thanks to each of you. But there are people that are very skilled, right? Like like Lily and Scrap Diva 29 Erica, and why the networks do not scoop them up. If you have a ton of subscribers, folks, maybe make a comment about this. Who would you love to see as the new Martha Stewart? For me, I would love to see Lily because that's like more attainable for me, but probably the ideal world from a marketing perspective would be to pair Lily and Erica because then you have two platforms, two huge audiences coming together. And wow, just think about what those two ladies could make, folks. Oh my goodness, it would change the die making world. It would change the project world. You know, put those ladies on a web show or a regular TV show and just let them loose. I'm telling you, let them loose and we will be buying their paper, we will be buying their products, I promise you. Um, so if you have more subscribers and you actually have people watching, you know, certain people from Ali watch videos and then they decide who to put on design teams. If you have a large amount of subscribers, they will put you on a design team or watch your videos. Folks, then by all means, please do a shout out. Suggest who you think should have, you know, a role in, in this new Martha Stewart, because we need a new Martha Stewart. I mean, that's why I watch Lily and Erica, is because that's what we need. And you know who else is really good is Tamika Scra uh, Scrap to World. That's the other person. If you're a shabby maker or you want to learn about shabby, when I was doing that project with Sabrina, I watched tons of Tamika's videos. Tons, 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 tons. I do not know why that woman is not on more design teams. It actually makes me worry a little bit about, ah, oh, we have not come far enough in this world yet, folks. That's all I'm going to say. But anyway, if you're like, Wow, and imagine those three working together. <laughs> now I'm really stretching it, but think about that, right? Lily, Erica, and Tamika. Oh, no one would recover. Like, it would be a show like no one else has. So who do you think should be like the next Martha Stewart? That's what I want to know from you today. Who do you think that is? I, I'm curious. Folks, you've got to go take a look at Crafty Michelle. You've got to. This Alice box is something else. This woman has been holding back on us. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Beautiful work. Beautiful, and of course I love it. And you know, I got I gotta tell you, Crafty Michelle, Sabrina, and Carmen, you are like, whoa, changing the way I look at paper. So now I'm looking at Stamperia, I'm looking at Graphic 45. We all know I love good quality paper. But folks, this is like gonna be a whole shift of thinking. This Stamperia paper is beautiful, right? Like Sabrina Country Crafter showed us that beautiful paper, and Crafty Michelle is showing us beautiful paper, and I'm like, whoa, it's expensive, folks. That's the problem. Um, it's expensive. It, it's, uh, you know, sometimes I laugh. I think Martha Holmes, my Maggie Holmes, sorry, Martha Holmes. See how much Martha Stewart's in my brain this morning? Maggie Holmes stuff I thought was expensive. So, you know, frugal Alicia waits till it goes on discount. She uses coupons. She goes to Tuesday morning. But, like, no, folks. Like, I'm talking Stamperia and Graphic 45 are expensive. Like, $25 a pack expensive. But it's stunning. Ah! Uh, how does one save money on these things? Do you guys know? If you know, please share with me because I'm in love with this paper now and I got to figure out how to get it cheaper. Speaking of cheaper, I want to give you an alert. So remember that paper I asked Carmen if I could ship? Listen to this, folks. Uh, Amazon had Martha's, Martha Stewart paper on for five bucks. I'm not kidding. I don't know why it went on that low. I'm not a huge fan of Amazon for reasons we could talk about, but uh, like small businesses. But anyway, um, regardless, I'm going to tell you they have an amazing special on. I hope it's still on. I ordered mine two days ago, so I don't know if it's still on sale. 
but it, two days ago it was on sale for five dollars and I couldn't believe it because it's a twenty dollar paper pad or twenty five dollar paper pad and her paper is good quality folks it is good quality so you may want to check that out if that sale is still on and let me know how to get Stamperia and Graphic 45 for less than $25 a pad. If you've got any ideas, please throw them my way. My husband is finally feeling better. Thank you so much for all your well wishes. Oh my goodness. Um, I really appreciate it. And so tomorrow we're off to the desert and the Dead Sea. So look, the internet has been crazy. Every video I've uploaded has taken between one and three hours, sometimes three and a half. And worse, listen to this. Sometimes it gets to 90% and then it's like, there is an error, video corrupted, and I have to do the whole thing over again. There's this internet thing going on worldwide. It's such a problem. Even connecting is sometimes a problem. So I may not be able to send video till I get back, which won't be till the end of the weekend. I apologize if that happens. I just, it's already bad internet there. And with this problem, I can only imagine I won't be able to send anything. But I will take videos for you so you can see Oh, would you see the desert mountains and the sand and the Dead Sea where you float while reading a book? Folks, thanks so much. Um, I'm out. I'm about to go out and about, which we know is a dangerous thing. It's a good thing we're getting me out of here. And I did get my alley packages. I got a couple of them. I'm waiting for one big package my husband's going to pick up later today. And so I will be posting an alley haul very, very shortly. And I think you're going to be excited by this one. All right, folks, have a great, great Wednesday. No, I'm grateful for each of you. I really am, and uh, I hope you have a fantastic making day. Bye for now.